Hey, so here is just a short video uh, to show what I have been working on for the last week and a half, two weeks or so. So uh, as you can see, this is the normal Unity main screen, main menu here. And they have these basic toolbar items up at the top, except there is this new item here called RPG. So I know that when I click on this, you probably won't be able to see it, but there's a, a drop-down menu that says Node Editor, and there is another one that says Launch Editor. So when I click this, it will create another window uh, that I'm pretty sure you can't see right now. So let me drop this there. So you should be able to see this new window now. So we have a work view tools bar at the top, properties over here, help over here, status view there. Uh, we also have create a new graph and there's kind of a hidden button here called load a graph. Uh, after I create a graph, there will be some other buttons over here. But okay, so in any case, I can click here and create a graph or I can right click and create a new graph here. I'm pretty sure you can't see this interface either but uh, I have one called new here, so I will do new two. There we go. So you can see down in the bottom in my assets view under database, I have a new asset called new two. See the names have all been updated here to show me the name of the graph that I am working on. And there's some other buttons here that are invisible still. Um, but I have two new visible buttons. I can create an addition node or I can create a float node. So if I create a float node, I get something like this. Let's get another float node. Uh, let's go ahead and do, say, four for now. All right, get another node like that. And let's get an addition node and another addition node, and let's say one more. The drag feature is still not really, really smooth. It seems to be connected to the speed. If I, if I move my mouse too fast, the node movement cannot seem to keep up with, yeah, it cannot seem to keep up with the speed of the mouse. So, all right, in any case, uh, these here are output buttons and we have some input buttons here. So if I click like that, there we go. I can connect from output into input. So you can see my addition node is highlighted. It tells me that the sum is zero. So if I go over here, let's say I set the value of this to four. Well, now it's four. If I go over here, this is a little bug that I discovered earlier. Um, if I change this to seven, this one is still four. This one is still seven. If I go off, it'll go away. If I go over here, okay, now it's showing me zero. Hmm, all right, but if I click here, again, there's my button, and you can see it creates this nice, nifty-looking, beezier curve. And if I click over here, bam, I get 4 plus 7 equals 11. All right, so, you know, kind of, kind of nice, maybe a little bit underwhelming. Um, let's change this one, say, oh, 16. And I will connect the output of this sum node in over here. So then I should get 16 plus 11. Bam, 27. And let's go ahead and change this one to, oh, 2,476. Just do a random big number. Click here. All right, now automatically this will update. Let's drag this one down. And we should get 
27 plus 2,476. Bam, there we go. 2,503. So, uh, again, this is what I've been working on for the last week or so. You know, just getting the context menu. Probably that is not going to show up, but I assure you when I right click here, there is a context menu. Um, but yeah, getting that to show up and just the highlighting. So you can see if I click here, the shape of the node changes a little bit and the colors of the connections also change. And same thing, the shape will change and then the color of its connections changes as well. So yeah, just making sure that uh, everything works properly um, has taken about a week or so. And okay, the big question everybody's probably asking is, why would I spend my time doing this? Um, so this obviously is not my end goal. Uh, my main goal is to use a similar system, a similar node editing system for creating tech, uh, uh, sorry, to create quests and dialogue and objectives and uh, story and possibly uh, the main use might end up being for AI actually. Uh, a lot of programmers and game designers use a very similar graphical setup to create a behavior tree which is usually done by navigating through different nodes like this and evaluating different conditions on each node and then deciding, okay, which node should I go to next? Okay, this condition, this condition, I should go here. And then evaluate some more conditions and then choose a child node of that node. Um, so I might be able to create a behavior tree, uh, a hierarchical task network uh, is something else I might be able to create using a system like this. But uh, just as a proof of concept, I've been following some videos that show how to set up uh, a simple node editor like this. So uh, yeah, that's basically all I had to show. Oh, wait. Uh, again, I hope. I don't know if this will show up or not. Last thing is uh, I can right click on it and again I don't know if the menu is showing up but there's a break connection menu and if I do that it will break the connection this value is still set to 7 and this value has changed back to 4 because it's only getting input from this float node here that has 4 and if I break this the node updates to 0 this one gets updated and this one gets updated so I can put those back there and everything goes back to what it was before. So yeah, that's what I've been working on and I hope that was interesting. Thank you for watching.